Okay, so here's the deal. Remember the story about Cat Williams allegedly waving a gun at five black women in Atlanta? Well, here's an update in the story. So WSBTV.com had a conversation with one of the women. Her name is Selena. And if you want to see the actual video I posted on my blog, there's a link below in the description box to take you there. Here's what WSBTV had to say about it all. They write, and I quote, a group of women who accuse comedian Cat Williams of attacking them are now pleading with the district attorney to pursue felony charges against the entertainer. Channel 2's Tom Regan spoke exclusively to the women who say their night in the town turned into a nightmare over one simple comment, quote, it was basically a night from hell, said one victim named Selena. The five women were in Midtown Atlanta for a bachelorette party on February 28th when they ran into Williams and his entourage. They say it began as a fun picture-taking encounter, but quickly turned into chaos when Williams became irritated and verbally abusive. Quote, I said Kevin Hart is funnier anyway, and that like lit a fire under him, Selena said. The next thing I know, he's charging at me. He actually hit me right here in my left temple and tackled me to the ground. We were tussling. I get kicked and I get pulled. Let me just pause the story right there. So let's get this straight. So five women were in Midtown Atlanta for a bachelorette party. They bumped into Cat Williams in the streets and they wanted to take some pictures with him or whatever. And then he refused or whatever may have happened. She decides to make a very snippy remark about how Kevin Hart, his rival, is funnier than him. Basically, to try to start some shit with Cat Williams. But I, now, I'm not saying that all black women are trashy like this and do stuff like this. But all I'm saying is that a lot of black women go looking for trouble where there doesn't need to be any trouble. So you run into the celebrity comedian, and you start comparing him to other people, including somebody he, who he was having trouble with, just to basically get into a situation, just to agitate a situation. For the record, the story goes on to say Selena, when she and her friend ran back to their car, two cars in William's security entourage blocked them in and the comedian pulled out a gun. Quote, he pointed it at our vehicle and waved it back and forth like something out of a movie Ra rather something out of a movies with an s <laughs> she said another woman says her phone was taken by one of Williams security guards quote he picks me up and throws me in my car and steals the phone and he walked off and Kat says quote you got it yeah I got it Williams who was arrested on charges including misdemeanor battery and theft by taking got out of jail on bond and says he is innocent an attorney for the women says Atlanta police failed to properly investigate the incident or bring charges consistent with what happened quote we were going to ask them to pursue felony charges against mr. Williams and his entourage who assaulted these young women the attorney said in addition to his legal trouble in Atlanta Williams also faces criminal charges stemming from two incidents in Hall County where he lives end quote now for the record now I don't want people thinking that you know I'm some sort of a racist or a, a black woman bash or anything like that I'm just gonna speak from personal experience I, I, I do like the fact that they admitted to this woman basically saying to him you know Kevin Hart is funnier than Cat Williams because it goes to show you that they weren't just some innocent victims that Cat Williams just flipped out on just for no reason and if he allegedly pulled out a gun on them I wouldn't be surprised if one of them said something to the effect of I'ma get my cousin who's in the such a such a gang to shoot you in your face because I know from personal experiences dealing with black women that a lot of the times if you have a mere disagreement with them they will tell you with the quickness who they will get to shoot you to beat you up to murder you and your family just from personal experience not some stuff that I saw on TV or anything like that I'm talking about what I've personal what's personally either been said to me or people around me or what I've seen happen so 
at least we know that they did say something about Kevin Hart being funnier. Hopefully the whole truth will come out because I don't believe I don't believe that that's where it ended on their part as far as agitating a situation for the record. But they're being portrayed as these victims who just did nothing wrong in the media and whatnot. You know, they had their little lawyer going around trying to act like there's these huge victims. I don't believe it. I really don't because if she said that to him, the whole Kevin Hart comment, what else was said? So that's that's all it took for Cat Williams, a comedian, a man with a sense of humor like his, for him to just flip out to the point where guns are drawn, where he wants to fight with women in the streets and guns are drawn, really? I don't believe the story. There, there's, there has to be way more to it. There was a whole lot more that they said to him or even did to him if the stuff that they're saying is true about what he allegedly did. Because I know, once again, from personal experiences with black women, hell, even people in general, regardless of race or gender, a lot of people have convenient amnesia where basically <laughs> they can't remember anything that they said or did that was wrong. However, they can remember every single detail what you allegedly said or did. And you know, at the end of the day, I just wish that there was a camera there. So then that way we can see and hear what actually happened in the situation. Because I'm 99.9% .9 positive I am giving them 0.1% leeway in this situation. I, I highly doubt that it stopped at just the Kevin Hart comment as far as the wrongdoing on their part. But this is all my opinion. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine.